The rampaging students destroyed gadgets and appliances, the school's water system, furniture and other property. When City News visited the school this afternoon at about 2 p.m., less than 20 of the over 900 students were seen, while all teachers, for fear of their lives, abandoned. It all happened that there was a disciplinary case, and then the disciplinary committee sat on it. And after the committee meeting, the prefects indicated that they realized there were many students using phones on campus. And they found some students charging their phones at a non completed building. So they decided to search the hostels. And the process, they found some phones, 15 of them. So after the press went, the students went back to the hostels. They couldn't find their phones. So they decided to attack the prefects. But the senior prefects and his assistant and the assistant, the guest prefect got wind of it. So they escaped. If you can see, some of the electrical cables have been exposed by the rioting students. I am here to uh, talk to a few of the students who are found here currently, one or two, and they shall be telling us more about what transpired. Last Friday, uh, last Tuesday, uh, Tuesday, they had a, a meeting about the, the school authority, in the school authority, and they asked that some phones have has been using on campus so after the meeting the seniors went and do searching and take some of some of our phones so when they when they did that in the night after preps that they started doing they started the demonstration spoiling things the meters and went to the uh, senior house master they break the door and entered they spoiled the computer and whatever that is in there Due to some students possessing mobile phones and they happen to apprehend them because the mobile phones, they were using them illegally. So the, the, the teachers decided to call them before the disciplinary committee to just give them some advices and correct them. So due to that, some students were also suspected. Some of them were used to learn, but some too they won't use it at the right place. So they shouldn't allow us. Meanwhile, the Upper West Regional Directorate of the Ghana Education Service has constituted a committee to investigate the incident. From the St. Basil's Vocational Technical Institute here at Keleo, my name is Latif Mahama, City News.